Get ready for some NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Out on the perimeter, DiVincenzo and Barrett. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then it's Julius Randle. And it's Sims in at the five. And for the 76ers, the pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. In at the guard spots, Maxi and Melton. And it's Oubre in at the three. Doris, get your entire roster sheet ready. These are teams, as you know, that will go deep into their benches. Well, particularly in the regular season, it's great for coaches, right? It allows them to play a variety of matchups, mix and match a little bit. The other thing keeps the locker room happy. Now, here's Barrett, and the shot goes in. This guy's a bucket getter. R.J. Barrett finds a way to capitalize on the interior. He's got the size to get it done. Harris passes to Maxi. Shoots over Brunson. Maxi, no good. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Well, we know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. And the first one at the line is good. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. He's perfect from the line this time. And, Greg, while the Sixers have been a fact time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinals. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years, but... You go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back in 01. Good on the shot. Now that's the lefty stroke of Oubre, right? He can hit from mid-range right on out to deep three-point range. Barrett against Oubre. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Oubre outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. Oubre's got five now. He's starting to develop that range. Maybe the stroke isn't perfect, but Oubre showing promise. Randall outside. And there's the pass to DiVincenzo. It's hauled in by the 76ers. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. Basket good. Now here's DiVincenzo. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go.
Hartenstein. He's checked in for the Knicks. And how about we check the numbers for Jalen Brunson? First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Barrett inside the three-point line and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Up top, DiVincenzo. He's guarded by Melton. Count the basket. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Axie passes to Melton. Here's Embiid. Maxi in the corner. Tries from 16. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage. Oh, yes. goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was electric. R.J. Barrett with a little flash. Pause the rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And R.J. Barrett Doris continues to do what he's been doing since he stepped onto an NBA court. I would say, Kevin, this guy is what we call a natural-born scorer. That is first and foremost his instinct. He loves to get off the dribble drive. And what we need from him is just more consistent outside shooting because that opens up the best aspect of his game. And it's the 76ers with the ball. The Knicks making the shot. Melton passes to Oubre. Basket counts. Oubre's got seven points. Well, how about the length and athletic ability of Kelly Oubre Jr.? Go ahead in there. Pass to Hartenstein. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. No good. That's miss number two. He's one for three. Harris with it. Out defended by Randall. Harris passes to Maxi. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Feeds it to Embiid. I really don't think there's a more impactful player in the league. Even on nights when his stats don't show it, Embiid changes everything when he's on the floor. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So one for two that time at the strike. Here's Grimes. To the left side wing. Hartenstein passes to Hart. From outside the arc. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Knicks lead by one. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? They set a physical tone in the first, and that really showed on the backboard. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second-chance opportunities. 
And Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. They've got Barrett. Also Josh Hart out there. And it's Grimes in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Hart. And it's Melton with the rebound. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Barrett covering. Six on the shot clock. Quickly against Beverly. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. I think one of the things I most admire about R.J. Barrett's game, he can do a little bit of everything. He can score it, board it, pass it at a high level. This young man can play the game. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for New York? And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Marcus Morris has checked in for Batum. Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Daniel House. And Kelly Oubre subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. And so Barrett nails both of them. And they're great at both ends, but the Sixers offense, Greg, the Sixers offense is elite. And it all starts with Joel Embiid feasting inside and at the free throw line. And his teammates reap the benefits as well with wide open shots on the perimeter. Harris has checked in for the 76ers. And then for New York, Randall's checked in for Barrett. And it's Jalen Brunson in for quickly. Brunson with it. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. They get it again. Here's Sims. Lays it up off the glass. Sims has got the lead up to five now for the Knicks. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Beverly the pass to Harris. Pass to Morris. Takes the 13-footer. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Well, just so good at taking advantage of the mid-range. Marcus Morris feels comfortable in that area. Pass to Hart. Back to Brunson. Some nice passing by New York here. New York needs to get off a shot. Three-pointer, Randall. Here's Sims. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here is Harris. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that's the kind of play that fires up your team. Harris with the strength to finish through contact and this is his first trip to the line tonight and all you need to do is see his free throw percentage guys 90 for the season to know what kind of year he's having all reads checked in for Marcus What's Morris up? and a switcher also for New York Dante DiVincenzo he's checked in for Josh Hart that's good from Harris Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Brunson against Beverly. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. An emphatic alley -oop jam. You love the effort Brunson puts into creating for others, working to make sure the defense is manipulated there. Now here's Beverly. Still scoreless. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. Maxi comes in for Patrick Beverly. And New York with a change here, too. Hartenstein's checked in. One fifty-seven left to play here in the second quarter. 
The 76ers trail by four. Here we are looking at Kelly Oubre Jr. He's capable doors of lighting it up on any given night. Kevin, from the moment he stepped into the NBA league, this guy has been a proven scorer. He's got a ton of flair to his game. He's probably best used in that six-man role, though he has put up very good numbers as a starter. I just like his change of pace when he comes off the bench. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. For the Sixers, it's championship or bust. Joel Embiid said there's nothing to be happy about just getting to the conference finals or the finals. you got to win the whole thing. That's the goal. And every single day, it's just trying to find ways to make that happen. Back to you. Yep, all or nothing. David, thank you. To open that time, made time it out, look too out. easy. Brunson's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, Jalen Brunson has balanced out that effectiveness in the paint with this right here, the range shooting. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Some changes for Philadelphia. Batum comes in for Reed. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Kelly Oubre. The 76ers trail by five. Embiid, the pass to Harris. 50 seconds left to play here in the half. And here's Melton. Five points in the game. Embiid is just too strong inside. Oof, what a scary sight. Joel Embiid with all that momentum taking it to the hoop. Looking like a freight train. Harris against DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. In the corner, Barrett with it. There's the three. And again, New York with the triple. Boy, R.J. Barrett has worked so hard to become a consistent three-point shooter. Go ahead, R.J., put in the work. Outside, Maxi. Here's Embiid, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. With one on the clock. No good on that one. And so it's the New York Knicks with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Coach. This team is still developing. What do they need to do to really reach their max? Just keep working every day. Give maximum effort, great concentration, and play to win. Make winning plays. Sounds simple, but I know it's not, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. They took control in the second quarter, ending the half up by six. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. And over to Shaq. 
What did you think about Philadelphia? They've got to be more assertive on the glass. Getting out hustle is a great way to lose a game. In the second half, they can generate extra possessions. It will go a long way toward getting the W. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, R.J. Barrett has been exceptional here, guys. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. In at the guard spots, Maxie and Melton. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. And it's Oubre in at the three spot. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. Now here's Embiid. Four on the shot clock. Sims with the rebound. Sims has got rebound number five here tonight. Randall with the bucket. Such a tough proposition guarding Julius Randall in that area. This guy is capable on the interior. Here's Maxi, And the Anthony Melton picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. New York leading by eight. The pass to Randall. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Wound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. The free throw off from Maxi. You know, Doris, something to admire about Julius Randle is the joy, the pure joy he takes in this game. Well, joy obviously comes when we're successful at something. And Julius Randle has become consistently successful at NBA basketball. He's worked hard to make that perimeter game as dangerous as his dribble drive game. And that kind of balance leads to great success. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Here's Brunson. Seven points in the game. Sims dishes to Barrett. Takes it inside. And the rejection by Embiid. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Now, here's Oubre. Nine points in the game so far. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's foul number two for him. Some changes for Philadelphia. Martin's checked in for Melton. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Maxi. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Grimes has checked in. Pass to Harris. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Out to the wing. Back to Brunson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This guy is so cagey. Jalen Brunson gets that defender off their feet with the pump fake. So good. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh. 
Bad free throw, no good. Boy, the maturation of Brunson is really special. This guy, phenomenal as scorer and facilitator. And the 76ers making a change here. Morris has checked in. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. You know, Jalen Brunson, for the NBA at least, is small in stature. But his tremendous footwork enables him to operate inside and out. He says, I've tried to make my game for what I had as versatile as possible. I've got to be crafty. I'm not jumping out of the gym. I'm not racing down the floor in two seconds. But I'm going to keep you off balance. Kevin? Oh, I love his game. David, I know you do as well. Hey, thank you. Here's Morris. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. Embiid kicks to Martin. Shot clock at five. Here's Oubre. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. The Knicks leading by seven. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for the 76ers. Daniel House comes in for Martin. 146 left in the third. Quickly the pass to Hartenstein. Knocked away, and it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Why don't we now look at the league's highest scoring teams? The real stats, the real score from the real NBA. The 76ers third. And how about the year they've had offensively? This is a team that can put points on the board in a hurry. Always fun to watch them play. Here's Grimes. Still yet to score. Four on the clock. And a missed late. The 76ers trail by seven. To the paint. Here's Morris. Randall with the block. Uh, how about Randall with the send it back block? Nicely done, Julius. The Knicks have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Here's Hartenstein, currently averaging almost six points a game. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Grimes has got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. The 76ers have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Oubre dishes to Morris. That shot, no good. Randall with some nice D. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Grimes. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And now it's a 10-point Knicks lead. Now Beverly. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. 
Shot from free throw range. No good that time. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Knicks leading by 10. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Up front is Randall at the four and Hartenstein at the five. Hard spots occupied by Quickly and Barrett. And it's Hart in at the small forward spot. Now here is Harris. And that one is good. Harris has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the 76ers. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. Gives them that inside-out edge they're looking for. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's MB following the basket by Julius Randle. Rocket six, shoots from 14. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from MB. They are just killing them on the interior. Randall finds quickly. Pass to Hart. Here's the three. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got four rebounds in this game. And slam dunk by Harris. How about that finish? by Harris. He sees his opening and does not hesitate to rise up and be free. Now, here's Barrett. Driving the lane. Rejected by Harris. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. At the top of the key, Maxi. This is it to Melton. Oh, good with the triple. And Randall has got the ball here for the Knicks. They've led by as much as 10. Covington against quickly. And Covington sends it back. Tremendous anticipation from Robert Covington. Sends it back. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. First one falls for him. Think about Robert Covington's pass to being a valuable asset on the NBA roster. A guy who was undrafted out of Tennessee State, begins his career in Philadelphia with a team that wasn't trying to win, and now has become the prototypical 3 and D valuable asset. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Sims has checked in, and it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Hart. The Knicks leading by four. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Barrett, no good. The 76ers have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Randall with some nice D. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Sims. 
Nice work on the board. It's paying off with time the basket. And the Knicks lead by six. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. And Philadelphia calls time here. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. And now we present our New Balance player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey guys, during the last time out of listening to Nick Nurse talk to his team, he loves what they're doing in the paint. He said if they're not stopping us, keep doing it. Keep going after it down low. So they'll keep pounding it inside, guys. Thank you, David. Now, here's Maxie. Following the miss by Julius Randle. Now the pass to DiVincenzo. And he banks in the layup. And the Knicks lead by eight. R.J. Barrett with excellent vision. And it's not just the vision. It's the ability to put it on time and on target. Nicely done. Pass to Embiid to the middle. Oubre, good. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Now here's DiVincenzo. Brunson. They shoot again. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. This has reached desperation time for him. I'll tell you, you need absolute perfection on every possession. That's what it's going to take here. Got it! And now they trail by just four. And there is no back down in Joel Embiid. He is ready to rise to the occasion in the big moment. And now we've got the intentional foul. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth. And here's Brunson. They'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. They've led by as much as 10. And so they choose to intentionally foul. the first one and that puts them up by five so he gets them both and it's a six point ball game and he adds to their lead with some very solid free throws no room for them to make a mistake here you gotta almost play perfect from here on out and MB comes it down and seeing a guy as big as MB being so fluid in terms of his movement, jaw drop. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. Jalen Brunson, a strong free throw shooter. He's knocked down big time clutch free throws before. He's got another chance. And 
the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. Timeout called the 76ers. They're trailing by five. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Maxi. Yes! And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. And that's how you drive your point home right there. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. on the first and that gives them a four point cushion and I love how unafraid Brunson is you can tell he loves the challenge of the moment and so he drops them both it's a five point game yeah two possession game now after knocking both of those down 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one pass to Embiid back to Melton there's the triple knocks down the trifecta And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. R.J. Barrett dreamed from his earliest days of being in the NBA and having an opportunity to make clutch free throws. What you got, R.J.? Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. On the wing, Harris. Off target from outside. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. So a close game sees New York take this one. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich.